Good morning, guys. I have literally just woken up, which is why my voice is like this, but Ooh. today I want to film a full pamper routine, just like take the whole day to just chill out. I'm just gonna vlog it. First thing I'm gonna do is make my bed. I feel like your space is really important. It can totally affect your mood, so I'm just gonna make it nice and clean in here. Also, opening the blinds is a huge thing. Getting some light in in the morning wakes you up and makes me happy. <laughs> I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'll show you guys all the products I'm gonna use. I literally rummaged through all of my collections of products to pick out which ones I wanted to use today. A bunch of these are new, so I'm excited. I'm actually planning on revamping my entire skincare and hair care routine. I'm not super stoked on what I'm using right now, so I'll definitely film updated routines of those once I have them in place. Another thing I wanted to mention, if you guys are planning a full pamper day, take the day before to clean your house. I did not do this, I wish I did. Having a really clean house just makes a pamper day so much better. So definitely fit that in if you have time. My house isn't too bad, I'm just doing like little cleans here and there to spruce up the spaces. So I'm gonna use the shower scrub from Lush. It's the cookie dough one, it smells so good. It looks like this, it looks like you could eat it. pumpkin enzyme mask from Peter Thomas Roth. It smells so good. It smells like pumpkin pie. Mm. It's just really good at getting rid of all the dead skin on your face. I had some dry flaky patches from past breakouts, so my skin is feeling smooth now. I'm gonna use the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%, as well as the 100% organic cold press rosehip oil. drops of that. I'm currently on the hunt for a good moisturizer. I had these two in my collection and I feel like I've heard good things. Let me know if you guys have thoughts on these moisturizers. I feel like a lot of people like this one from Tarte, so I'm gonna try it. It is like a gel type moisturizer. I do prefer thick creamy ones. Honestly, I don't even know if that's like 
what is good for my skin, but just like how it feels. But we are going to try this one out. Doesn't really smell like anything, which I guess is a good thing. One thing about that pumpkin mask though, you have to wash it off really good or else you still have like little pieces. Like I feel like there's like little crystals on my face still. One thing I need to take care of is my nails. I feel like a lot of people probably have shellac or gel nails that are super grown out right now. And we cannot go to the nail salons. So time to do it ourselves. I got all the goods. I'm gonna remove the polish on my toenails as well. And I need to cut down my nails. I'm gonna do, why is this not coming out? I'm gonna do this. I finished my toes. They don't look great. And then I already wrecked them. So I'm a little nervous to do my fingernails. I might not put polish on them. I think I might just take off the shellac, but we'll see how this goes. continue filming this process but in case any of you guys need to do this at home first I'm filing down my nails to get rid of like the top coat and then soaking a cotton ball in acetone I'm actually using one cotton ball for one hand you just rip it up into little pieces then you wrap your fingers in tin foil you let it soak for a little bit when you take it off it's easier to remove the gel or whatever shellac I think shellac is a brand and it's actually gel. This tool is super key. I don't know what it's called, but this is like a cuticle pusher, I think. And I just use it to scrape off as much as I can. You can go back in with a nail file to file off more. This is where I'm currently at. <laughs> Progress, but still not close to being done. And that's only one hand. So now I'm soaking my nails in some warm water mixed with a little bit of argan oil just to help moisturize my cuticles and nails, I guess. I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest, but it feels nice. The nails are off. It took way longer than I thought it was gonna take. It's already 4.30, but it really needed to be done. So I'm glad I can check that off. I wrote down a list of things I wanted to do during my pamper routine. Two of them were read a book and journal, but I really wanna make cookies. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna make dinner. And then I'm gonna go into my night routine after that. So I do read before bed. I'll get my reading in then. And I do wanna get back into journaling eventually. Nothing crazy, just like writing down some thoughts per day. But yeah, if you're looking for things to do during your pamper routine, definitely do some reading and writing. I wanna make oatmeal chocolate chip, gluten-free. Oh, do I wanna do almond butter? Oh. Okay, I need to decide. Chocolate? Double chocolate? Shoot. Peanut butter? Mm -hmm. I love cookies so much. Like, I enjoy baking, but I mainly bake to eat them. Okay, I need to pick a recipe first, and then we're gonna bake. I'm also gonna make some tea. I like to drink tea throughout the day. I usually do spearmint or Tulsi. I'm gonna do this one right now, and maybe I'll do this later tonight. I literally just searched cookies on Pinterest and I saw this one. I'm gonna try it out. I usually do healthier versions of cookies. I do have gluten-free all-purpose flour, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna do coconut sugar instead of brown sugar, and I have grass-fed butter, so a little bit healthier. <laughs> the recipe because I didn't have enough butter. Oh, I need to sprinkle salt on these really quickly. Like, is it gonna stick in them? Oh shit. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I did half a recipe and then I decided to just make six big cookies. I definitely made them a little bit too big. Oh, that's the actual timer. Because they are sticking together, but they still look really good. I had to do a couple other little adjustments with the ingredients, so it's not really the true recipe. I would like to try it again and follow the instructions exactly. Um, I think they'll look a lot different, but I'm still excited to eat these. You guys, I just ate one and they're so good, but they don't taste healthy. But they're yummy. Thirty-six. 
I just realized you guys have not been in the video today. Everyone always wants to see the dogs because you guys are so cute and nice. Good girls. Darla. <laughs> her tail, what's in her mouth? Just a fuzz. I had some cauliflower and broccoli that was about to go bad, so I'm cooking it. Oh, actually, it looks done. Hi. We're gonna make some more tea. And I've also been taking these before bed. It's called ortho sleep. Those are the ingredients you guys wanna read it. It's just like a bunch of herbs. These cupboards are getting very crowded. But this is another drink that I'll have sometimes at night. It's the mushroom cacao mix from Four Sigmatic or the lavender moon milk by Botanica. This one's really good too. It has ashwagandha in it. I think we're actually gonna do, where is it? Chamomile lavender. Do you want any tea? Okay. Chamomile lavender? I'm gonna end the video here. I'm just gonna have my tea, read my book for a little bit, and then go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed. What is this? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to post every second day right now. I don't know when this is going up. Maybe I shouldn't say that because then I feel like I need to stick to it, but um, that has been my schedule lately. See you guys in the next video.